Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I'm an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. This video is one of five special videos that I am making to introduce all of the new patterns in my brand new book, Big Yarn Beautiful Lace Knits. The concept behind this book is that it is all lace uh, knitting patterns knit in bulky or super bulky yarns. So it's things that are going to be big and lacy and bold and graphic, and they're going to knit up fast because they're on Gigantor needles. Uh, if you love this idea, I really encourage you to check in the description below. You will find a link to the individual Ravelry pattern pages where you can see more pictures and get more specifications. Also in the description below will be a link to the Amazon page where if you do not have a local yarn store, you can order the book through Amazon. But as always, I encourage you to check with your local yarn store and see if they're going to carry the book, maybe ask them to carry the book because we need to support our local yarn stores. Um, the photographs, the still photographs that you will see on the Ravelry page and that I'm going to show you a little bit later here in the video are all by Gail Zucker. She is an amazing knitwear photographer and I wanted to let y'all know who took these amazing photographs. Um, the format of this video, this video is about the scarves and the fingerless mitts that are in the book. And first, what we're going to do is it will be a split screen situation where the photographs by Gail Zucker and then the um, stats of the patterns like yarn and needles and things. And if you only have a little bit of time, it'll run through those and you'll be able to get it real quick. So you have an idea of the scarves and the mitts. But if you would like to stick around, I will continue and it'll be a video of me putting these pieces through their paces, showing you the details of them, showing you a little bit of styling tips and just generally having fun. So let's go on to that. There was no way I wasn't going to end up doing some fingerless mitts because I love fingerless mitts and with the chunky yarn, I mean, you sneeze and they're done. These are super fast. These I started with these, I call them the shorty squiggle mitts because they're squiggly. And this is one of the very few patterns where I actually say block gently because the lace in this is actually giving you a really interesting texture. And if you really blocked it, you would lose some of that texture. Um, it comes in a couple different sizes. So if you have any question of which size you would go, err on the way of going up because you want to not distort the fabric too much, but look. Isn't that cool? So it's gonna give you a little bit of warmth. Let me tell you, they're warm on me. This yarn is, I'm looking at something over here. Shorty squiggle mitts. These are, this is vintage chunky. It's an acrylic wool nylon blend. So unless you really steam the heck out of it, it's gonna stay. It's not really gonna stretch out and block out. We've got a full thumb gusset. How do you do that? We've got a full thumb gusset, but the lace is doing it. And this is one where you just, it's ambihandrious. You just make the same thing twice because the front and the back are the same. But they're just super quick and you could whip these guys up super easy. They'd be great gifts. They're still warm though because they're bulky and they have some niceness too, but 
So this is the shorty squiggle mitts. I like them. They look really cool, don't they? Oh, what size needle were those on? Uh, size 10 for the ribbing and 10 and a half for the body. I mean, the things like pop, done. And there's one other set of fingerless mitts. So these actually ha are reflected. You can see they have two different, they, they, they flip. I call this the half arch motif. And it's so that they go, I, you know, I just didn't like them both going the same way. This is a longer mitt. And actually, I think these aren't quite my size. I'll get them on for you, but just barely, yeah. They're not gonna go up my arm because I have Popeye forearms, but you can see, see how it's got that fun arch? And so then on the other hand, it arches the other way. So I just liked how they move towards the thumb. And I thought that this motif bore a very strong resemblance to the communicator badges on a certain science fiction TV show that you or your mother, parents, or your grandparents might have watched. So I named these to warmly go, <laughs> where no man has gone before. And these are in Barocco Ultra Alpaca Chunky, which is a wool uh, alpaca blend. They're stockinette on the hands and lace on the back. And as we see, they have the big long gauntlet. And they come in, how many sizes? Small, mediums, and large. These are the smalls, so they don't quite fit me, but I'm sure they'll fit somebody out there. And I really like the way the arches on this came out. And because it's the bulky yarn, these holes, they're just really bold and linear. Then we have scarves. I have two scarves in this book. I love knitting scarves. There's something meditative about it, about doing, especially ones that it's just the same pattern and you just knit it until you're bored or you run out of yarn or until it's the length that you want it to be. Um, I had one of these in my, I had a scarf like this, similar to this in my previous book because I want there to always be a pattern that is really straightforward, doesn't have any fancy shaping that someone who maybe is a little unfamiliar with the technique can just, I'm just gonna cast on like, and since this is bulky yarn, so this is dash panel. It is in Cascade Yarns Lana Grande. It's on size 15 needles. I mean, the cast on's gonna be like 15. And so you just have a few stitches and you just have, it's like four rows and you just do it over and over again. There's no, there's nothing intimidating there. I'm gonna get close so y'all can see the pattern. So it's just this little arrowhead motif with little bits of yarn, little eyelets going up the side, and you just repeat it. I call this dash panel because if you've ever played the Mario Brothers, uh, Super Mario Brothers racing games, there are these little strips that when you go over and they make you speed up, and they're called dash panels, and they have this little arrow motif on it. And this, you're gonna go super fast. And the other thing I love about these kinds of scarves is making them crazy long. Because when they're crazy long, you can do the fold over thing and still have plenty left to play with. Or you can wrap multiple times. You can do, so it looks like you've almost got on a cowl and then you bring it around and you bring it around again so it's still the same length as a regular scarf would be, but you've got all this extra. Or you can pull this forward and, I don't know, tuck things in, make knots, I don't know. There's so many different ways that you can, here, the tuck in one, so you fold it in half. I think I showed you this on another one. You pull one leg through the loop then you twist your loop and you pull the other leg through your loop and then you fiddle with it <laughs> because fiddling with it is part of the deal. That's how scarves work. But you flatten these out and you've got all this beautiful lace. 
See? And you still got little tails. It's kind of dark. I wanted to go with the dark yarn because I thought it was beautiful. But I don't know how much of it you're seeing. The photographs hopefully will help you out. So this is dash panel. I'll show you the lace again. Okay. Then the name on this, <laughs> back in my mouth, is fairly self-explanatory. It's asymmetrical balance. Asymmetrical balance means something that is balanced, but where you have negative space balanced with positive space. So it's off center. It's not what we think of as traditional balance where there's the same on both, but because this is open and this is solid, they balance each other out. This is, I really, really enjoyed working with this yarn. This is Barocco Catena or Catania. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And it is a wool and little tiny bit of nylon. I knit it on size 11 needles. The color is citrine. And it's got a, I don't know if you can see it. It has a chain ply, which makes it super soft and really puffy. Look. And since I'm up close, it's got ribbing, so it looks, but since it's puffy and it fills in, you can't really tell it's ribbing. It just more presents as stockinette, but it makes it completely reversible. And if you put the scarf on, the way it's asymmetrical, like this, you've got the two solid parts and the laces on the outside, or you can put it on like this, with the lace around your neck. Oh. And I really think it's kind of crazy how different just putting it on the different way it looks because the, the way the lace is emphasized. This is another piece that I was trying to design that I think that lace for men is a thing and I think that many men would probably wear this. Um, again, I do them fairly long. This took three skeins. So you can wrap it around once and still bring your tails around. Look and see how I did that? And they ended up on the same side. You know, who knows how it's gonna do, but it's because it's mostly reversible. And it looks, I really like this one. It's, um, it's one of my favorites. And actually I might wanna turn it over so the lace is on top and it would look different. But I really like this scarf. So this is Asymmetrical Balance. I hope you enjoyed this video. I encourage you again to check in the description notes below for all of the links and to get a copy of this book so you can knit up some of it for yourself. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe to my channel and select notifications. Thank you so much.